Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just jump straight out of here. Crew report, CUS Interpunk. Our regular weapons officer, Mike, is on leave this week. So as part of a cross-training initiative, Ed will be taking the weapons officer role. So we start by checking his equipment and training before heading into combat against the renegade CU ship, Zarius. Ha, I speak on you, RCX. <laughs> He can't see because he's too busy watching YouTube videos. So where we're going, uh, Ed, there's going to be won't combat. Need roads. So, well, we we won't need Mike, or rather, we do need Mike. We need somebody to do what Mike should have been doing. That's what I think you mean. Well, in the absence of Mike, if if Mike did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. It looks like I've still got what I was carrying. Nope, I think I've got what Mike was carrying, because that's a fuck ton of guns. <laughs> In terms of equipment, have you got all Mike's... Well, I suppose you wouldn't know. But have you got what looks like a weapons -y set of skills? Or is it I've... asking you to be a... I haven't looked at skills yet, but what I have got is no fewer than five guns as my equipment. All my equipment oh. there is guns, apart from my hands. And I think that Mike would have literally replaced his hands with guns had he been... I think he genuinely would. And I can confirm that I have been equipped with Mike's um, military. Particular weapon he should be wielding. Yeah. So but the one on the right is the main like turret. Two or three. And if I click on that, let's see what happens. No, no, that's the power thing. You've just taken power away from the main turret. You need to go into the booth that looks like it's for charging up seven of nine, except red. Yeah, here, where I'm looking. Ah, uh, yes, I see I've got use plasma turret, it's use focus laser turret, and I presume there's a use... The, the one on your right is the railgun, I think. Yeah, well, it doesn't need guns. all of us. This is the thing, like, I thought we wouldn't have that, now Mike's not here. When, I, what I've noticed from watching these videos is every time I give an order or answer a question, Mike says exactly the same thing that I've just said, but in different words. So what like tends to happen is, like, any time Dan asks a question... <laughs> uh, I'm giving you a third of a point for that. <laughs> oh. That's too real. I've got a guy at work who does that all the time, and no, it's not me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yes, Ed, so when you fire that gun, the ship, the entire ship bucks up like a pistol with, you know, um, whatever it is pistols have that make it buck up when you fire. Recoil? Oh, condoned. It's not condoned if you're inside an asteroid, but it's alright now. Uh, but please don't do it, because I have to realign on the jump. Okay, uh, can you charge up the jump? Are you ready? It is, in fact, charged. We are ready to jump. Engage. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring us out pretty quickly. Um, okay. And we are going to be in combat immediately. There are going to be two ships that we have to fight. We have a science to uh, scan. No, I'm going to science. No okay. science in space. Where are we going? We don't need science. We just need guns. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, geez, done that again. Okay, so Actually, for the shields and stuff. Where is B? B is over no, there. we do. We want, we want to engage, engage both of them. Uh, overcharge. Oh, is A like rebel us? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, that's regrettable. Oh, that was fun. I didn't expect to do that. Okay, so I'm targeting A. Okay. It's behind the asteroid, so I'll, um, I'll, I'll bring us under. Okay, I'll yeah, target I'll B target for a while then. Focus, Focus fire, fire on B. Hmm. Wow. No, A is closer A is now. Let's switch back. Missile. Ah. Uh. Damn thing. I think it's about to virus us. It has already virused us. Okay. Uh, who did this overcharge thing? I don't know. I have no idea whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, to be um, honest. Our quantum shield's down so they may board us.
Oh. Okay. So we got them. C B. Uh, B uh, is B actually is stronger, it turns out. B is behind an asteroid at yep. present. Not anymore. Would you mind rolling a bit so I can target him? Thank you. Uh, uh, rolling. One of the comments on our videos suggested that uh, you should do more strafing runs rather than trying to uh, sit in one place. Oh, so just go past and turn around. Maybe not quite that fast. Fine. But it feels... Oh. Yeah, the reason I tend to not do that is it feels like the turn takes forever. Probably does, but unlike Mike, I'm able to lead a shot, so... Um, our shields are having some woes here. I'm gonna run a shield recharge program. To boost our shields. Oh, well done, we're doing hull damage now, that's good. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, the overcharge thing is bad if it hits 100%. Well, it's like bad and good. If it is 100%, the ship shuts down. But until that point, we get more power. Oh, roll a bit, roll a bit. Sorry. Other way. There we go. Okay, we're weakening their shields. One more hit should do it. We've been boarded. I think the boarders will still be here. Let's find Yeah, they're now. coming onto the bridge now. No, they're not. Got two of them. Yeah, Ed, just... Ed, you stay at your station. Okay. Okay, engineering's clear. Uh, there's another, a bandit uh... marauder. Yeah. I'm dead. Okay, I'll get back to the bandit ship then. Ah, I'm picking up scrap while we're next to it. Oh, there's a bandit clunker. New contact. Oh, overcharge is a problem. Boom. Okay, Do uh... okay can we get, the, get rid of the shields on Delta? And, uh, and we'll board it. Do these things all have overcharges? I think so. I like that. Um, there's some scrap over towards Delta as well. Yeah, I see above it, above the thing. I'll go towards that. Target Delta at the moment due to our orientation. A row would be lovely if you're able to. There we go, thank you. I think it's behind the asteroid. Oh shit. Was that the bad thing that happened when you overcharged? No, ship is still working. Yeah. But I think we were close. Okay, their quantum shields are down. Let's go. Uh, oh, I don't see oh. them as a teleport, teleport location. Oh, that's no good. Uh, you should go look out for our overcharging engines. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like, it's good until it goes too high. <laughs> Gone too high twice. We seem to have been all right each time, so I don't really know what's... Uh... Oh, there we are. Okay, okay. all done. Ed, you can stop now. They're all dead. Thank you. Uh, there's some scrap. Somebody can... Uh, yeah, good. I think we've got all the scrap. Although we've shot like a million people. Man, this weapons officer roll is super easy, right? <laughs> uh, well... Hmm. I, yeah, I've, I've decided to start learning how to roll properly when it's uh, not Mike. Once we have Mike back, I'll go back to not rolling very much. Right, what happens now? Do we think we've got all the scrap? Yep. Yep. I don't think we have, you know. Or well, is that just a bit of asteroid? I think there's some... Um... No. What? Right there. No? I'm getting a bit closer. Yeah, asteroid. it is. It is. Well done. I've been uh, in the crow's nest. There she blows. 
That, I think, is just a bit of wreckage. Uh, it is, yeah. Okay, jump point ready. Is this going to be a hostile zone? You don't jump with your guns. Well, I, it shouldn't I be. I didn't realize I was far enough away from the screen that it didn't register. <laughs> We're um, not in hostile territory yet, we're just leaving friendly territory and going into what appears to be neutral territory. Um, so I just anything got, can happen in the next half hour. I just got an achievement for... Uh, well, it's says. called Explorer, so I assume it's for visiting a certain number of systems. I'm guessing the turret, just in case it turns out to be hostile. Fair enough. We're dropped out. Please. So the bounty agency should be here. I don't see it. Yes, I think I've seen it. Oh, I should have changed our shield modulations before we dropped out, given how uh, often we have incidents. I've got some talent points. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Reload speed. Oh, I'm going to get myself more health. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to go to this bounty agency and get our reward, I think. Oh, I wonder what it will be. I hope it's going to be a better thing for our ship. Oh, I'm going to spend my points on increasing the... There's a guy here with a question mark every time. There's a guy here who has a dangerous job for us, but he's willing to pay a great detail, a great detail, a great deal for our assistance. That's the kind of job I like. There's also a guy here who says he's heard reports of our fine work. We've proven ourselves to be an invaluable member of the Grey Huntsman. As such, he would like to entrust something very valuable to us. Do we accept? Uh, probably yes. I accept. It's a lost uh -huh. colony data fragment. Oh, uh -huh. awesome. So now we have two. So this guy's friend's ship was caught too close to a black hole and was forced to blind jump. And they dropped out in infected space but they were quickly overtaken by an infected carrier. Uh, so f to uh, get justice for his friend's death, he's offering 20k credits for someone to hunt down and destroy an infected carrier. Ooh, we had uh, some trouble with them before, didn't we? Yeah, when we were in infected space. Shall we do it? Oh, are we enough? I'll take that one. Okay. I don't know who the Grey Huntsmen are, but they seem to be people who hand out data fragments like they're candy. They're people who give us a lot of missions to hunt down particular ships. They're like bounty hunters or a bounty agency. But they're not a faction that we can have rep with, unfortunately. No. Hmm. Actually, I'm imagining them as the um, Grey Knight Space Marines. Yeah, but they don't, like, wipe your brain after you see them. Indeed. Oh, um... Dan, if you look at System 1251, which is kind of east of us, it's pinging red. Is that the Bounty Hunter, or is that just because something has happened there? It's not the Bounty Hunter. It might be, a uh, like, combat zone. Okay. Because it is on the border. Often there's combat on the borders. Wow, there is a, a lot of inspected inspected space, isn't there? It's gonna keep increasing. That's kind of how infections work. If if you haven't noticed that by looking out the window. You could do, defeat an infection by announcing a lockdown and then ending it when it was good for the economy. Uh -huh. Okay, where are we going now? Oh yeah, I think we're done here. Well, we have to wait for RCX to get back from the head. Oh. But I think if we go to this red zone and find out what's there, um, sure. it's only two I'll... jumps away. I'll line us up. Oh. Um, that's in the wrong way. So the image first... of the ship being a giant transmorpher and um, transformer, and RT RCX forming the head. Like, um... What were they called? Okay. Zords. Zords, doesn't it, in Power Rangers? Yeah. And you stick them all together and, like, yeah. See that, that as per Dan's recent statement, there could be quite a lot of confusion between going to the head and going to the head. 
Well, there, there would be if unless, we were in a Zord. Unless the head was in the head. Indeed. Machines building machines. I think we're good. Oh yeah, I feel, I haven't quite noticed it. I feel I should appreciate the like pr the prompts for what the different um, things do is for tab is open tab menu, which is a bit <laughs> self uh, descriptive, really. I, I also enjoyed the fact that my um that my key mappings included left click being up to left click and right click being up to right click. <laughs> yeah. All right. Especially when right mapping like right click doesn't usually do anything, so mapping right click to right click is not entirely helpful. Okay, are we ready to jump? To be fair, it does have a use in the gun turret. Engage. Uh, so uh, this is a neutral system. There could be anything here. Already a turret. There could even be something that we don't have to shoot. <laughs> oh, come on, they'll be ridiculous. Okay, dropping out. Ooh. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just jump straight out of here. None of these have shields. Okay, so two of them. Two of them. Uh, uh let's, let's crush in things. Okay. Yes, I think an asteroid hit us. Would you like me to shoot something? No, uh, but I was completely stationary and something hit us. Negative. I would like to jump out. Alright. Okay. I was lined up and then something hit us, so... I will jump a Ooh. winner line. Well, oh, in I think it's the thing with the chainsaws. I think it might be uh, trying yes. to ram us. Um, it did ram us. That's why we weren't lined up anymore. Oh, it's the orcs. Yeah, can, can you avoid it ramming us, please? That's okay, we jumped. Well, uh, we fire, jumped, fire on the bridge. There's fires in a lot of places. Yes, we took an awful lot of damage from all that ramming. Yeah. Well. Okay, bridge is secure. Science lab is on fire. I'm putting it out. Uh, life support is sure. on fire. Uh, we're losing oxygen. Yep. Uh, Ed, your room is on fire. You should probably put the fires out. I've done it. You've done it for me. Which is quite good. Do you know what Mike hasn't equipped? A fire extinguisher? Correct! Yeah. I think I'm going to equip that over the over. Okay, I'm turning the atrium healing back on, because most of us need some amount of healing. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. And and uh, there's nothing we can do. As a responsible weapons officer, I have now equipped fire extinguisher as opposed to just weapons. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a reason you're not called the fire extinguishing officer, right? Smith, if you want to get off the helm for a moment to go and get healed. Oh, you did already. Fine. Oh, oh Captain, there might be aliens out there who are allergic to fire extinguishing foam. There you go. Helm is yours. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what we're heading towards. When we jumped, we weren't lined up on anything. Oh, I, well, I just, like, pressed the button as soon as it said, like, it, we were aligned. So. We are oh, okay. jumping into this friendly space that may be a combat zone. Okay. Oh, the, the red things have stopped happening now, so maybe it's not. Me? Oh, just stop. Uh, oh, yes. There's some fighting going on here. Um, yes. Let, do not it's shoot the CU shoot sips. It says CU indeed, so C would be a nice target. Let, yeah, let's go with the bandit clunker. It's hostile and armed. Alright, and do this. Please roll Smith so I can turn it, thank you. Okay, okay. uh. Oh, let's, let's get out on the on uh, Foxtrots. Yeah. Okay. Delta as well. I don't think Delta will do anything to us. Oh, yeah, okay. Delta's a beacon. And I'm standing down. Corrupted bacon. Oh, I'm trying to collect this scrap. And I can't because it keeps trying to target Delta instead. 
Would you like me to kill a devs uh, so uh, we can get the scrap from it? There are some oh, mines by that asteroid. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's yeah. let's get rid of Delta. Okay. It's um it's sending us a virus. It sends everyone a virus. We need to get closer. I don't think you need homing missiles for a immobile beacon. What? <laughs> Can we get closer? Yeah, it's dead now. Yes, but the scrap isn't. Oh, point. Is there anyone? Oh, uh, I think. Fender trash as well. We have a lot I of what? I think there's a bit there. Fender trash. Bunch of like modules and stuff, which we should just tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nope, that's just a bit of rubbish. It's only at me. It's okay, rubbish. well, we seem to have come out of this engagement nicely. Good work, everyone. Good. Our hull is not good. We are no, alive. Our yeah. hull is not good. I wonder if we should uh, maybe go get that repaired. All right, jump dry charging. Ship is literally sparking. I damaged. Okay, ready to jump? Yep. Right. I didn't say jump at any oh, point. Sorry. <laughs> In metaphorical black and hitting the equally metaphorical sack. Will the crew be able to repair in time for their next ship combat? Will fire extinguishers become part of stand equipment? Will crew members learn to stay at their posts until relieved? Will they defend the Colonial Union's borders just to fill their hold with scrap? Find out in the next thrilling episode.